They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that, but I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. What are the matrikas, <laughs> Dr. Vinita Agarwal? Okay, so see, matrikas, you know, the, the, there's some beautiful depictions. If you are into, uh, you know, no, things like GOT or, you know, Lord of the Rings, or you know, there's a larger than life depictions, you know, in the Purans. And, you know, there are battle scenes that are described with these women warriors, you know, they are so fierce and they are so strong that the Asurs, you know, who are, who are overconfident, Actually, mm. they think, oh, we'll capture this woman. It's just a woman, right? That's that's their attitude, which was very clear in the in the Purans. And these so-called mere women, they teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Okay, it's it's so beautiful, you know, to read it. And the matrikas are the energies of seven gods. They're sapta matrikas. You know, the seven gods uh, whose energies are known as matrikas, and they're depicted in various temples across the country. And, you know, so so there's Vaishnavi. So Lakshmi, we know, is the peaceful form, right? Vaishnavi is the fierce form of Vishnu's energy. So there's Vaishnavi, there's Indrani, there's Komari, uh, Skand's uh, counterpart, you know, Kartike's counterpart, who's actually also called Devasena, you know. So so there's energies like that. There's Narasimhi, mm. you know, there's, uh, uh, of course, Kali. And there's, you know, different manifestations of the goddess. And very interestingly, I was just reminded of this, that, you know, there's an Indus Valley seal, which shows, it is a beautiful seal, beautiful seal. And, you know, Indus Valley, we haven't been able to decipher the language, right? So it's it's a lot of guesswork as to what the seals could represent. Some of them are very easy to understand, of course, because there's some animals that are depicted, etc., etc. But you still can't read the caption. But there are some seals that actually show some depictions, which could relate to some Puranic stories. You know, if you have that background, you can analyze it. And there's an Indus Valley seal, which shows a man with a bull bowing to a woman who's standing in between a tree. Okay. And there are seven other women below. So quite possibly the cult of the Saptamatrikas or the belief in the mother goddess and the Matrikas was prevalent since very old times. Mm. It's very difficult to say whether it's actually the case mm. because we haven't been able to understand the language or the script rather. But it's quite possible, you know, the seven goddesses, probably the seven women. And there's a goddess probably because the guy is bowing to her. And there's a bull with him. So it could be representing Shiva and Shakti. And Shiva in an inferior form where he's bowing to Shakti. And the Saptamatrika standing there. It could actually be related to this very incident. Mm. You know, where Shiva is actually asking for forgiveness. That I'm sorry. You know, I didn't know how important the child was to you, etc, etc. So there are depictions, historical depictions of these seven Matrikas. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.